What's up, guys? It's Alistair Corp here from Covers.com, bringing you our best bets for the Monaco Grand Prix, taking place on the streets of Monte Carlo tomorrow, Sunday, May 29th. Now, as usual with Monaco, qualifying is king, sets the grid, overtaking so hard on those streets that, for the most part, the action is already over with, and so too is the F1 betting value, except for a few plays that we have for you today. So we've got Charles Leclerc to set the fastest lap at plus 100, and Sergio Perez to finish higher than his teammate, Max Verstappen, at plus 175. So starting with the Leclerc play, it's pretty simple. He's the quickest guy on the track. He has been all weekend long. It's the reason that he's on pole. It's the reason he's probably going to win the race tomorrow. It's the reason that he has been on top of every single timesheet this weekend, except for FP3. And frankly, it hasn't even been close. So his pole lap in Q3 was over two tenths of a second quicker than second place. And he was setting a blistering fast lap that was going to make it even harder for somebody to beat him up when Perez crashed to end Q3. Uh, yeah, and so quite simply, he's been the fastest guy. He's going to set the fastest lap. Now, obviously, we see at other circuits, guys towards the end of the race, whether it's Red Bull who are trailing Ferrari or Ferrari trailing Red Bull, they try to kind of salvage a point by taking that fastest lap and they manufacture it. Bring the driver in for fresh tires towards the end and send him out for a push lap right at the end. It's not so easy in Monaco for two reasons. The first, track position is absolutely king. If you get overtaken here by a bad pit stop, by a bad strategy, chances are you're not getting that position back. There's only one overtake here in the entire race last year. The second is because it's Monaco, it's nearly 100 years old, and it's streets, it's not meant for F1, the pit, the pit lane is very narrow, so it makes pit stops a little bit harder. Whoever sets the fastest lap tomorrow is going to be done so on merit, not manufactured as we see at other circuits, and on merit, Charles Leclerc has been the fastest man, so plus 100 to set the fastest lap I think is great value, and it lets you get a little bit of value out of the race leader who should win the race if you were a little bit late to the party and weren't, weren't kind of betting ahead of qualifying when a lot of the action happens in Monaco. Moving on to the second one, Perez to finish higher than Verstappen at plus 175. There's a lot of deference being shown to Max Verstappen with these odds. I mean, Perez has been the second fastest driver around in Monaco all weekend long. Uh, he topped FP3, he's been in top three in every single other session, and he still had a chance at finishing in second in Q3 before he crashed out. He'll finish third as is, and Max Verstappen's been firmly fourth. So obviously the, the biggest thing for this bet and for Perez to finish higher than Verstappen is getting off the line and getting the turn one ahead track position king as long as he maintains that through the first turn barring team orders which maybe happen maybe doesn't happen i don't think it would happen in third and fourth he should be in good shape to, to finish higher than verstappen the only thing to keep in mind here and maybe why it's worth waiting is that crash was fairly sizable and if the gearbox needed to be replaced with a certain amount of parts he would take a five place grid penalty so obviously that would not only wipe out his chances of po uh, podium from p3 it would absolutely wipe out any chance of, of beating Verstappen. Um, early reports are that it's promising. Red Bull doesn't think that the gearbox will need to be replaced, but as we saw last year with Leclerc, maybe sometimes you don't really know till the morning of, so maybe worth waiting. Um, but if, if he started from P3 and Verstappen's P4, I would comfortably, comfortably back Perez to finish ahead of Verstappen at plus 175. Um, so that's along with Leclerc for the fastest lap at plus 100. Enjoy the race, and as always, stay tuned to Cover's YouTube channel. Like, subscribe, and stay tuned. Thank you. Bye.